Hello, this is Brett Lonsdale from Lightning Tools and I'm going to show you how to aggregate SharePoint task lists from across multiple site collections using the Lightning Collector web part. Our previous episode showed how to aggregate SharePoint calendar lists and display the items in a calendar. So what we're going to do is add to this and build a new view that will show the tasks. So from the drop down we're going to click create view. We're going to click onto the web part tab I'm going to provide a view title of SharePoint Tasks. We're going to use the SP Grid View Display Provider. Yesterday we used the XLT Display Provider, but today is going to be the Grid View. As we're going to design a view by selecting the columns that we want to display, and then apply some conditional formatting as well. So from the Data Source tab, we're going to first of all select the lists that we want to aggregate from. So we can do that by selecting the different site collection scopes or the sites or also down at list level. So uh, if I wanted to go and be specific about the lists that I wanted to show, I could simply drill down into my sites and select any task list that may be available. So uh, simply we could just select those from the, uh, from the left hand side here. So what I'm going to do is select entire site collections. So I'll expand my web application and choose a few site collections that I know have some task content. The list type we're going to set as tasks. We could if we wanted to also set a content type and that includes custom content types as well. And then from the columns tab we're going to go through and select the columns that we want to display. So rather than just showing something like the title, we're going to show the title of the task but we'll also have the start date of the task, the priority of the task and a few others such as the assigned to, the percentage complete and the due date. So with those selected I'm going to reorder the columns from left to right so I'm going to drag the uh, task name column all the way to the left so that's the, uh, the leftmost column Uh, we are also going to do some grouping, so I'm going to group by two different uh, columns, that is the task status column and also the priority column as well. We need to do some data formatting, so I'm going to format the percentage complete to a percent column. Any date fields I'm going to set as short date, the assigned to I'm going to show the user's presence and if we scroll down a little bit further I'm also going to set the short date to uh, the start date to a short date as well. The grouping I'm grouping by task status and priority I could switch that around if I uh, if I wanted to do so and uh, notice that we can also do some filtering as well uh, not just filtering on a single column but um, if we wanted to filter across columns then we could also do that so notice things like assigned to we can filter by the me checkbox um, if I wanted to go to some advanced filtering I could perhaps show information that is uh, very uh, relevant to today's activities such as showing high priority tasks or tasks that are due today so all I would do here is simply add a new filter condition for each column that I want and we can set for example the uh, task priority as well as the start date and we can uh, we can set those to uh, to today's activity and uh, and the priority to high so multiple options there when it comes to filtering as well uh, we're also going to do some conditional formatting so I'm going to select the uh, priority column and anything that is high priority we're going to make sure that that stands out so we'll give it a different uh, background color to the other tasks and uh, we might want to make that bold as well so we'll set that to uh, to high priority there and uh, and hit save uh, finally it would be useful to add a calculator column so we're going to add a calculator column so we can have the number of days that we have to uh, to work on the task So here we'll, we'll set the return type to an integer and we're going to take the due date a 
away from or the start date away from the due date and that will return for us um, in seconds the, the difference so we want to use the total days function in order to get that back in days so, uh, so once we've saved that we've got uh, a new column created that I can simply just add to my view as well uh, finally on the display tab we'll just set some pagination so we're not displaying more than 50 items per page um, the column that we want to link on to open up these items uh, would also be useful to show and we'll have the groups expanded by default um, so now we all, all we have to do is hit save and there's our tasks aggregated from multiple site collections with the conditional formatting displayed on any high priority tasks and uh, notice we've also got the number of days the calculated column in there as well okay well many thanks for watching